so you did like it, eventually. Beaker said, dragging my thoughts from the past to the present day. I'd given Beaker a highly edited version of the events detailed above. The story I told Beaker didn't involve Sonia at all, just Vincent as a normal boy attending a not-so-normal school. I also left out any mention of the girly aprons we had to wear for supper and chores, and of course the incident on bonfire night when I'd wet myself. I twisted the facts to imply that since Vincent dressed like a girl at school, Mother thought it would be nice to buy him some girls' clothes to wear at home too. I felt it was better to keep Mother's near breakdown within the family, and gave Beaker a story that was more palatable and far less freaky than the whole truth. I cringed a little before replying. Not so much liked it. I claimed. Once I'd got over the initial stage fright, the worst thing about girls' clothes was other people knowing. But you're telling me, she said. I gulped and looked her in the eyes. I guess I needed to tell someone, it's been this huge secret lurking in my skull and you're the first person I've trusted enough to tell. Well you can trust that I won't tell, she reassured. Do you still dress like a girl, she asked after a short comfortable silence. No. I replied. It pretty much stopped when I left school. Does Vincent, she asked. Only at school. He's in sixth form now doing A-levels, I replied. And hoping to get into Oxford. I proudly added. Wow. I guess everything they say in favour of petticoating must be true if he's going to Oxford. Beaker replied before inquiring about my older brother again. He works on cruise ships and earns shitloads. I told her. I've not seen him for years. I shrugged. He went off to college in Wolvingham and hasn't come home since. I explained. He writes occasionally and sends mother a big fat check every month, but other than that I don't really know. You don't sound too bothered. Beaker noticed. We used to get on really well but as soon as he left high school he turned into a proper W asterisk concur. I told her. I know he's my big brother and all but, any admiration I had for him is long lost. I paused. Saying that, he does send money back to mother, which is pretty good of him I suppose. I added. I guess it would be nice to see him again, but I ain't going to lose any sleep over it. I'm a bit like that with my big sis. Beaker told me. All she can talk about is how much money her husband earns and how much their car cost and how much they're going to spend on this, that or the other, she ranted. I mean, good on her because we grew up with fuck all, but why she needs to go on and on and on about money all the time I've no idea. Have you just got one sister then? I asked. Yeah. Beaker replied. After a brief silence, she said. Sorry to keep going on about it but, when was the last time? The last time, what? I asked knowingly. The last time you wore a dress, she grinned. Er. Uh. I replied as I cast my mind back. 10th of July. This year. Beaker exclaimed. I gulped and nodded. It was Vincent's graduation day. Wow. That's like, 12 weeks ago. I was expecting something like, a year or two. Beaker said. What did you wear? Oh, I began. A skirt and blouse. I recalled, before admitting that the outfit also included a handbag, high-heeled shoes and makeup. Eek. Beaker almost recoiled. Can you walk in heels then? I nodded. Not that I have any plans to. I added with a smile as I tucked a stray lock of hair behind my ear.